Well, good day to you on a grey day here, which uh, promises rain, but promises way beyond that what should be a really good game of football. The stands are packed here, people have done everything they can to get here. Indeed, the roads outside were pretty badly clogged, but I think most of the traffic issues have been settled, and indeed, I think most people have now got through the turnstiles and are well covered up against the elements, whatever they may throw at us over the next hour or two. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. This is the line that we've been given. How do you read it, Jim? Reminders of a, a golden era in English football, I should add. And it continues to hold its place in the modern game. Playing a second striker runs the risk of being outnumbered in midfield, of course, so with the wider pairing and fullbacks, plenty of running has to be part of their play. And of course, the right service into the box. There's the whistle. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Tries to get it forward quickly. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Get the better of his opposite number. Plenty waiting in the middle. Chance to crop header. It's broke. It's come back out. He's scored. He was really. Quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. I doubt he'll score too many which come easier than that, Peter, but just look at his movement. He knew instinctively that the keeper would struggle to hold on to it. So we have our breakthrough. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. to switch the play that's a throw hoists it forward defending of the desperate variety forward it goes all the way back and they start again and it's played forward well, that's where he wants it. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Auxerre are very much in charge here, dominating possession and a goal to the good. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1 0. Drives it towards the front.
battered in gently. So nearly the perfect ball. Tries lifting it over. Cuts it out. Tries to get it clear. The ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. to locate someone up front. Ball is over the line. The referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they show glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Auxerre leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. Already up and running for the second half. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Across the field it goes. A oh, really good feat from him. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Oh, good interception. He's looked long this time. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Uh, it was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. So, Jim, what are you thinking? They're ahead, but... They're not playing as if they are. There seems to be uh, more of an emphasis on protecting their lead than, than adding to it. It's all gone a little timid. Here comes another cross. Tries to get it forward quickly. Jaxio are definitely going about this the right way. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. And that's a throw. Jaxio have turned to their bench, and we're going to have a substitution. Forward it goes. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Has he found his man? Jaxio are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say.
Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Hoists it forward. Lovely bit of skill. A real chance if he can get through. And he's looking at the referee, but the referee is shaking his head. Ajaxio have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Balls out on the left now. Gets it into the middle. Auxerre can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Auxerre hit it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1 0. Your final thoughts, Jim? Well, a result which owed much to Grind and Graf Peter. Not the prettiest of wins, but a very professional performance, I would say, and a clean sheet, of course.